Hi guys, welcome back to Pablo vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the code. Today we will see how we can convert a PDF file to a Word file using a Python code. So let's get started. But before that, we'll be checking the packages pre-installed in my system. So the first command that I'm going to execute in command prompt is PIP list, where you can see all the packages with the versions. So it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So let's get started with the code. We'll explain the code and later we can see the output of the program. So starting with, we have imported few libraries, which is necessary using. So Tkinta is used for GUI toolkit for Python. And the file dialog and message box from Tkinto for file dialog and message box functionality. And uh, FITZ fits is used by my MU PDF library for working with PDF files. And document from docs for creating and working with documents, Word documents. Image is for PIL uh, for working with the images. So let's move on and see what is the entire program about. So in this entire program, we have three major functions. One is convert PDF to doc and then is choose the PDF. And the third one is to convert the PDF. And uh, the later that comes with the GUI sort of the interface setup, which includes, you know, what is the heading and, you know, type of file what other kind of buttons, their positions, everything is in the later of the program. So let's go with the first function and let me explain what are the things in the first function. So this function convert PDF to doc, converts a PDF file to a Word document. It opens the PDF file using fits.open. It creates a document object from the Word document. It iterates through each page of the PDF, extracts the text from the page using page.getText and adds it to the Word document, and then converts the page into an image using page.getPixMap and adds the image to the Word document. It saves the Word document and displays a success message using the message box.showInfo if the conversation is successful. If an error occurs, it displays an error message also. So what is the error message that is given here? Error, that's all. So let's move on to the next function. So here the next function is uh, choose the PDF. So what happens here in this function? The function choose PDF opens a file dialog to choose a PDF file and updates the entire file with the selected file. But so we need a function to you know extract a PDF from the existing documents from the system. So this is basically does that work. So let's move on again to the next function. So the next function is convert function. Here the function convert is called when the convert button is clicked. So after updating the PDF file, there will be a convert button. When the button is clicked, this function gets activated. So what are the major functions happening in this function? Is It retrieves the path of the selected PDF file from the entry field. It, it checks if the PDF file is selected and if not, displays an error message. What is the error message? It uh, says error, please select a PDF file. Then 
it if not it opens a file dialog to choose a location to save the converted doc word document so whatever the converted word document is there in our hands that should be saved somewhere in the location of the system so this is also been done in this function it calls the convert pdf docs to convert the pdf file to the word window so after converting the word file it basically is asking for a place to save the file and name also to save the file so let's move on to what's there in the code next next code is basically to set up a gui or a user interface so you can see first of all the window is given as root is equal to tk dot tk and the title of the gui which is the user interface is pdf to word converter and we are given the frame with which is basically padded with 10 and 10 so it will come in the center and then we have a label of pdf file and then we have a place to give, browse the pdf file to choose from our system and then there is a convert button all the three things have been given the frame height and width and all the padding is also given so next part is root.main.loop as you guys know it starts the program if we have given a direct command to run this program so let's quickly see the output of the program so as usual i'm going to copy the name of the file and then go to command prompt and python space file name dot py and you should be able to see a user interface so you can see pdf file and uh, when i browse it it shows all my documents so let me just select a random pdf file so i'm selecting a file called problem statement and then there is a convert button let me click on it and then it will ask you where to save the word file i'm saving it in downloads with a name i should give a name for it so let me just put it some random word name and save it and then you should see a conversion completed successful dialog box so let us see if it is there in my downloads so when I go to downloads, yeah, so there is a word dot documents. Let me open and see if the content is the same. So yes, we have extracted all the letters from the PDF to a word here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe to Pipro versus YouTube channel. Thank you.